Okay, what I'm going to show you today is just a really quick tutorial on how to make one of these. Okay, what is it? Well, you connect it to whatever you need to run. For instance, here's the hot wire on our Fat Shark transmitter. We connect that to that. And to power that, we're going to power it off the balance lead of our battery, flight battery. Too, too small for a flight battery, simulating the flight battery. Okay, We plug that into the balance port of the battery and we're powering the transmitter for the Fat Shark goggles trans, to transmit your video. Okay, So that's what we're going to show you how to make today. It's pretty simple. Uh, I bought a bunch of these connections, the JST connections right here, like that. And then in order to get the balance port end, I bought a balance charger thing. It was pretty cheap, actually. It's cheaper to buy it this way than it was to buy them individually. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to snip off however much we need. And we're, we get six of these so we can use six of them. Make six different sets like this. So we're just going to snip it off like that. Okay? Then the next step we're going to do is we only need the red and the black one. And just grab one at a time. And those pull out. Okay, so all we need is the red and the black one. We need to strip a little bit of the wire like that. You can use a knife between your fingers and strip them, but that sometimes cuts into the wire. Okay, we're going to put that over here. We need something to hold the wires while you're soldering them. Okay, then we're going to need to uh, cut some um, heat shrink. I want some halt, a small heat shrink for these small wires. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the black one on here and slide it clear down so it doesn't get any heat from the soldering gun like this. Okay. And then I'm going to run another piece like this. Actually, let's put that on there first. Okay, we're going to put the big piece on. Then we're going to put the black piece on, the red piece on, and slide them all the way down. Then we're going to put that in our little tool here to grip them. Try to get this like that right there. Then on the other one, we're going to put one over the end of it, like that, and we're going to use that to kind of hold these wires together like that so it's harder to pull them out if we pull this off of our gizmo. Then I'm going to cut another piece, could be any color, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Okay, we put that in there like that. We put that on here. Okay. Next we're going to need some lead tin solder. Um, any of the old timers will tell you that the new solder today that we get isn't really very good. So I order this. I actually found it on, on eBay and it comes from the US. It's a Chinese warehouse here. But you can buy lead solder from them. And I can't remember the name of it. But just look up lead solder on, the, on eBay. Okay, we're going to get these together. And first, we got a good soldering gun here. We're going to need to tin the wires. Now, it means that you put a little bit of solder on the wire first. 
And it just takes a little dab, gotta get it right there. Okay. Okay, it's all it takes. Like that. And we're gonna try to get these together. Let's turn this one over and separate those out just a little bit, like that. Okay. And it doesn't matter which one you do first, whichever one is closest. And this is going to be hard to do for the video, uh, hopefully. And you want your solder to flow. Okay, and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna touch both of them. Like that. And when you get it, works well. I'm not. Super happy with that, but we got a good joint there. It's good. Now let's do the other one. And twist that around where they touch one another like that. Try to do this one where you can see it. That's all it takes. Let's check this one again. Oh yeah, there you go. Much better. Yeah. I'm showing you the right, the way it's going to be here. Let's do it better. These things need to touch better. If it'd be perfect. It wouldn't be the way it really is. Okay. Just got to get the right place for your soldering gun. Let's see how that one looks. There you go. See that? Both of those are real good joint. Okay, now you can use two things to do your heat shrink. You can use a heat gun. Make sure you get black and black and red and red. Put those right over the middle of them. You can use your uh, heat gun or You can use your soldering gun. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is put this over the middle just to hold those two together. That's all we want to do. We use that. Okay, then I like to put this one down here to hold those two together. Okay, and push these in as far as you can. Kind of push it that way so it doesn't, the soldering gun doesn't pull it off. Some may take exception to doing it this way, but you don't need to fire up your heat gun for that. Okay. Now, we have our connection. Let's check it. I'll plug this into here. Like this. Plug this into here. Into the balance port. Like that. And look at there. We can run a hot lead to that and run it off of the battery. Okay. That's all there is to it. Lead and tin solder. Heat shrink. A really good soldering gun. Something to hold it with. 
and you got it made. Soldering is not mysterious. Get you a good soldering gun. This is the one I'm using right here. If I can get it over here. Okay. What brand is it? Forget what brand it is. It's a soldering gun. <laughs> but you can control the heat right here. And it has a sponge in the bottom to clean off your tip, which is real important. And this is hot, but it's not going to burn you. Keeps that from getting anything else on you. So what have we made? We made us a little jumper with a balance port on one end and a JST on the other. There's lots of things you could run with this. Go make one, have fun, try stuff like this. See you later.